Cane Toad Invasion. <coughs> Hello. This is the worldwide event worldwide board of engineering. I'm I'm here today with Amanda. And I'm here to interview her about her trap and ask her a few quick questions. Why did you want to trap the king to what problems did the king to cause? Gabriella Nevis to the front desk. Well, Immediately, Gabriella um, Nevis to the front desk. Poisonous things on their backs and if uh, any animal bites it or eats it, the poison part on the back pops out and they end up drinking the poison what kills all animals. Thank you. Good answer. How do you, how does your trap work? What are some improvements you've made, you've made to your creation and trap? Well, the tank, the cane toad's supposed to climb up, enter the door, and just sit on the comfy towel. Then you pull the rope, and the toad's captured. That sounds like a nifty creation. Do you think your trap design could help could help the cane toad problem in Australia? Why? 50-50. You would sort of need a few and they would have to be automatic. It's just complicated because there's so many and so little supplies. Great answer. I'd like to see. I like to see your trap. Let's go ahead. <laughs> the toad climbs up here, ends up sitting in there, and where? Difficulties, please stand by. <coughs> That's good. And while we're waiting, and, and while we're waiting, let's and while we're waiting, let's see your design process. First, I ask myself, how could I make my how could I stop the cane, cane toads from getting everywhere? So I decided to make a trap. I imagined what it looked like. So it would be nifty, helpful, and great. Then I planned it. I got all the pieces I need and everything I should have used. Then I created it. At the beginning, there were some misfalters, so I improved it. And I did this process several times until it finished. Thank you. 